previously on Masks and Martyrs. The team uh, re received an invitation to the uh, estate of one Lord Julius Goring. One of Reagan's uh, sisters uh, is apparently the ward of Lord Goring. Rufus, darling, you simply must introduce me to the master of the house. So, uh, were you gonna tell me that you know how to, like, talk like these people? Man, I grew up around this bullshit. Madam, I couldn't help but notice your captivating stare. I am Lady Saya Khan. Rufus's face kind of drains of blood a bit. Monty settles into a deep, deep bow. I must say, Lynn picked a good one. Good is so rarely what we need in this city. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> they aren't people, you know? They're just questions. We don't have great social skills. <laughs> good night! You and your friends should probably leave. There's a place for people, and there's a place for a wolf. Well, all we have to do is last until my sister comes out. Standing at the head of a table, uh, one seat is empty, which you assume is for the Lady Claudia. And sitting in the other one is... Uh, Reagan, it's been some time since you've seen Ellie. I think what strikes you most about her, uh, what, what a beautiful person she's grown up into. She makes a beeline that way. You all arrived at the demence of uh, Lord Julius Goring, who uh, until recently has been kind of established as the perennial runner-up in this game of masks and martyrs, uh, which the Hintillans play, uh, traditionally sort of always second fiddle to the rather, or to the more successful uh, Von Tepflers. Um, and he sort of had his perpetual ally in uh, the uh, former Lord Manata, just as uh, the Von Templers had uh, their eternal ally in the late Lord Limter. However, with the deaths of both of these men, things have kind of become tenuous at best. And so Lord Goring uh, has, is throwing a, or is having a small little soiree, a, a, a private dinner, before the masquerade season kind of kicks back into full gear, since the first masquerade ended with the attempted murder of the entirety of the nobility on the orders of Lord Limter before his death at the hands of an unseen assassin. You all uh, sort of accompanied Rufus as one of those who was invited to the events. Um, and... There are good reasons to have Rufus there, you know, good optics, a champion of the champion of the city, Rufus the Just, a, a real sort of heroic figure. Um, however, uh, Rufus was very timid and hesitant to go, and so uh, you all agreed to go with him. Some of you for, well, most of you because upon meeting with Mr. Morris Kipling, he'd been able to track down Reagan's youngest sister, uh, Ellie who she had not seen in some time. And she was apparently being raised as a ward of the Goring family. And uh, this is sort of her, not her like debut proper, but kind of the, uh, for, you know, the, like, I think the friends and family kind of dinner. Um, although very few people have real friends in Hintilla and very, even fewer still uh, have family who are friends. And so, uh, y'all met a couple, uh, interesting individuals, uh, the cigar-chomping tiefling, uh, Gleta. Y'all met, uh, Lady Saia Khan, one of the, uh, one of sort of the five forerunners in the noble community here, a famously neutral figure. Uh, and you also met Adwald Manata, the cousin of, uh, Lady Anastasia Manata, who was the first one to give you your job, or who gave you your first job. Uh, 
First one to blackmail us. Yes. Well, the one who threw us in prison and blackmailed us into yeah, doing her bidding much, more. It wasn't much, much of, of a, a job. job. Yeah. Of a... Well, I, you know, you gotta, you gotta work as you got. And, um, you know, yeah, she, you know, anesthesia is a complicated person. And, you know, things were said. Things were said. On both sides. Uh, there were certain uh, secret orders given to certain people that, you know, uh, it was the same what could have happened. We all said things. We all stabbed people. Well, yeah, but that's why you hire Reagan. Rika notably didn't stab Lynn. Yay! Yes. That, yes, that was that was the moment when when, when, when Rika Cha went from uh, MVP to uh, moral MVP as well as moral compass of the group. Moral compass of the group. Mm. <laughs> um, but uh, you met the you met them, and then uh, after some sort of you know glad handing, uh, shoulder or elbow rubbing, all that. Uh, the Lord Gorin, uh, as well as his, uh, his sister Claudia, uh, they invited you into the dining room that, that, that had been set up for the guests, um, upon entering. You know, so that there were, uh, three chairs, sort of set up at sort of the head of the table of one for Julius, which was, uh, the head of the table on his right is a, sta- is a seat for his sister Claudia. And the last <laughs> was occupied by a young woman with red hair, uh, who Reagan immediately began to make a beeline towards in the most Reagan way possible. Yep. And that's where we're going to pick up. So Reagan is walking towards this. Uh, Reagan is walking towards this uh, this young uh, woman who, you know, uh, judging by I think how Reagan has walked in the past, this is either someone who is going to be. Uh, Someone that she is eager to see or eager to kill. Um, I am smiling. This is just my face, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know Reagan doesn't kill kids, so so she wouldn't be killing yeah. her anyway. Well, I well, uh, you know, Ellie. Ellie is how, how old is Ellie? Uh, Ellie's nineteen. So she is perfectly murderable. Well, I mean, Brinka and Monty know why they're there, so it's not like they're going to stop her. Yeah. Um. Uh. So uh, as you begin walking, uh, uh, Rufus says. Rufus says, uh, what, what I, th- I think, I th- can, can we not sit that close? I think I'd like to sit, uh, farther <laughs> away. Monty's just gonna that... elbow, can, can Monty elbow him? Uh, roll, roll me, just roll me an honor attack to see if you can, like, see if he, see if he'll feel it. Because Rufus is a pretty tough dude. Are you guys ready for this? I rolled a four. I don't even know what my modifier is, it doesn't matter. Uh, Monty, you go to elbow, uh, Rufus, and you... Rufus has always kind of just seemed like a bit of a lush to you, like a bit of a lush kind of, kind of just like very stressed and anxious all the time. Sort of like in some ways reminds you of you, but when you like <laughs> when you like go to so like oh it's him him the not now bud, you hit just like just this rock hard set of like abdominal muscles like you like oh, you kind of like you kind of like ow what the hell was that. Please don't like, take a hit point away from me. I only have thirty six. <laughs> no, 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 no. You don't lose hit points, but like, but just, just, just as a this, like, what the fuck? What? How? What? Yeah. Like, this guy is fucking jacked, uh, and he does not notice for his part. Uh, he's uh-huh. uh, 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 and he kind of like and 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 he's kind of like um. I mean, I I mean, I guess. Uh, oh no. Okay. Yeah. All right. You're. Oh, uh, okay. Why um, we're here, Rufus? Wait, what? We'll we'll explain more later. Just go with it for now. Uh, oh, uh. Okay. The bulls have ears, uh, Rufus. <laughs> okay. He just seems very confused because Rufus is so often confused. So yeah, um, if if neither of y'all want to intervene, then uh, I think I think that Reagan uh, continues along her way. But uh, yeah, Reagan, you uh, you walk up and um, I, I, as you approach, uh, sort of like uh, walking up to her, uh, or like you know the person who's kind of like uh, a bit further ahead of you, and she sort of draws up uh, next to Ellie and uh, leans down and sort of like begins speaking into her ear a bit. Um, is uh, Claudia Goring? Uh, Claudia is, you can see definitely the resemblance with her brother Julius. Um, however, if Julius is kind of this like very like hard edged, dour uh, man who has just like that, again, that sort of like really jagged, gnarly like neck scar, uh, 
she like then Claudia is someone who the best way to describe her is that she is a woman who would not be in most circle like she, she's not someone who would be considered like a great beauty by any stretch of the imagination she's sort of like a, a bit on the plainer side um, but you can tell just like there's something with the way that she's moving and kind of like carrying herself which is it's at the very least intriguing if not like fascinating like she's the sort of person who can turn heads uh, just sort of based on her physicality and she kind of leans down and is speaking to uh to uh, Ellie as you approach. Cool, Regan doesn't care. Ellie? <gasps> uh, both of them look up at you, and uh, they kind of... There's a moment where uh, uh, Ellie can, Ellie sort of just stares at you, and they, there's, there's, there's not, like, recognition on her face, but it's just... just staring at you, just like... just like... It, it, it's like it, like, like, like not being able to process what she's seeing almost it, it's me it, it's it's Ray at this point uh, Ellie like opens her mouth and then Claudia puts her arm on her, her arm on her shoulder and she says be a dear and uh, wait for the wine will you I believe I would like to have a word with our guest here and she turns to you and she smiles and she says would you care to go for a walk with me, quickly? No. No, actually, I would not. El, El, does she... You don't remember uh, me? Uh, she's gonna step up, like, closer to you and lower her voice, and she's gonna say, I think that if you want whatever it is you want to happen tonight, you're going to want to walk with me. Um, Regan kind of looks like he just, um ate her puppy in front of her, but she goes with Claudia. Sure. Um, so, uh, Claudia starts, like, walking with you, and she sort of, like, links arms with you in the way that, you know, ladies of the court do, and she just begins kind of, you know, chattering and, you know, Should doing the Monty little small Monty and talks. Brika follow? Y'all can do whatever you want. Uh, uh, Rufus is gonna say, oh, man, that's, that's too bad. Claudia, she's, you know, I, I've, I've only met her, like, a couple times, but every time she just... Oof. You know what I mean? What? No, I don't, no, I don't no, know what you mean, both. Rufus. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, sorry. Uh, she... You ever meet somebody who you just know is bad news? Like, just in your bones? Yeah. 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 You, notice, you notice the arm thing, Brika? You know how Reagan would probably be more likely to, like break someone's arm than link someone's arm yes yeah i don't think we should leave them alone you know you never know reagan might be about to break it i mean <laughs> you, you want to make sure you protect this woman from her as well as you can <laughs> no no like monty's like this is this isn't safe this does not look good to monty so you want i should follow i would prefer if you did it because i'm not very stealthy and I, people might notice if I go missing. Wait, wait, so can someone, is it, am I, am I, you're not just going to leave me alone, right? Please, please don't leave me alone. No, please I'm don't. going to stay with you, Rufus. No, oh, no, God. Money Pins, oh, stay God. with Rufus. Oh, my God. Watch, oh my God. watch Reagan's small sister. Small sister. Yes. <laughs> wait, I'll wait, go. wait, that's her, wait, that's Reagan's sister? Shut up, Rufus. Sh 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 Rufus! Sh sh I... <laughs> Monty, Monty, like, looks for a glass of wine, finds one on a servant tray, and pushes it back into Rufus' hands. He just kind of looks at it, like, almost sadly for a minute, and then he starts drinking it. At, um, more out of obligation than enjoyment. Um, Brie, give me a stealth check. You got it. Let's see, let's, let's see how, how, how quiet this, uh, this cobalt can be. Um, it's a 16. <laughs> okay, yeah, I mean, I... I think that, you know, may maybe a few of the more shrewd-eyed individuals will kind of, like, notice you slink off. But I think for the most part, you're able to get uh, sort of... Uh, sort Plus, of I don't think slinking is something that really bothers these people. I'm pretty sure most of them are given to yeah, slinking. Yeah, they're all sort of sneaking around in each other's bullshit. <laughs> oh, they... Oh, yeah. oh, no, no, no. These are these are slinkers, make no mistake. But they are... They, they tend to slink in the shadows. Slinkers, they... They keep it behind closed doors, along with any other indiscretions. No! <laughs> but, uh, uh, so, um, Reagan, uh, Claudia, uh, kind of, uh, 
maneuvers you, uh, like, sort of back out to the room that y'all were in, that most people have, that people have filtered out of by now, that kind of, like, receiving room. And as soon as, as soon as uh, y'all are through, and sort of, like, out of eye shot of the door and out of ear shot, uh, just the face, the very pleasant face just drops. And she turns to you and she says, What do you think you're doing? I was talking to my sister. Listen, Ray, that's what you said your name was? Ray? Reagan. That was a, it was a, it's a, like a nick. What did you do to my sister? What do you mean? What, why doesn't my sister know who I am? This is, you, you, you were raised in nobility. Yes, Reagan? Yeah. Um... If you were her sister, then you were, at least to some extent, before all of that happened. She gestures at you. That's fair. At all of you. <laughs> um, but she, uh, 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 she sort of, like, sighs a bit, composes herself. She says, while she is here, her name is Cynthia Gory. She is the second cousin of Lord Julius Gory. She is of a branch family, far removed, but of good noble stock and breeding, of goodly manner and raising. Reagan kind of like waves her hand in front of her, like, hey, like stop, and also like she smelled something bad. Listen, I'll, I'll, I can, I'll use the fake identities. I don't really care what is going on. I just want to talk to my sister and make sure she's safe. I haven't seen her since she was, and she just kind of like, like this high, and she gestures to like roughly her hip. (laughs) And I need to know she's safe and that she's okay. And also it would be nice to to talk to my sister in general, because you know, she's my sister and I thought she was dead for the last 10. Look, I really don't give a shit about the noble stuff. I I couldn't care less. If there's somewhere I can go wait or some shit, whatever. Just drop the whole threatening lineage shit. I really, I just want to talk to my sister. Well. I think she should know that Reagan is being very polite and restrained right now. <laughs> this is, this is perfectly fucking civil. <laughs> she kind of looks you up and down again. And you feel like for the first time she's like actually like taking you in but it's it, it, it's, a, it's a little disquieting just the kind of you can sort of feel like you're like the box is being checked off she just like glances over each individual trait of you and then she says so you were a soldier I assume yeah fighting a war against the fucking Von bullshit family can, so can I talk to my sister I First, that will depend on what Cynthia wants. Okay, that's fine, but... Secondly, you've made a bit of a faux pas already. Well, yeah, I don't really care. Just that's just if you want to just lock me away in a Listen, bedroom or something, I'll wait. I'm not, I'm not going to lock you away in a bedroom or No, I mean, that's not like barbaric. in a penalizing way, in like a till the party's over way, so that I can, you know, no, just chill. No, 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 Reagan, because you've made it about you now. Yeah. Because you have, because you walked up to the lady who is going to be debuting soon, and you made it about you. So you can't just disappear now. That would look bad. Not just for you, not just for us, but for Cynthia. Okay, what do you want me to do? I'm getting to that. Okay. You came in with Rufus the Just, yes? Yeah, I'm, I'm squatting at his place. Yes, that makes sense. There have certainly been rumors that he attracts an eclectic mix there. You've never heard the word eclectic sound quite so, uh, never heard it quite dragged across the teeth like that. She says, but there may be something that we can do. Okay. You have a few other companions with you as well. The kobold, I am not certain exactly who she is, I'll admit. Uh, she's she's kobold just. She's from the wrestling circuit. Oh, Phil Chianti. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You saw her? Yeah, I was, um, I was Countess Von Blood this year. 
Oh, oh, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, lovely, lovely. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. I, 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 I must say, it, it really is good to see that there are some who are really dedicated to the craft still. I feel like most of the time, honestly, the, 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 the personas are so ha- are, are so half... It's beside the point. That is beside the point. However, my brother and myself could use the expertise of certain, um, more, uh, what's the term, dangerous individuals than us. Oh, thank God. I was, ho- I, I was worried you were going to ask me to, like, curtsy or something. Yeah, what do you need? Who do you need? Do you need God, to no. You curtsy? No. No, God, no, right? They're... Anyway, anyway, who do you... just tell me who you need dead. I'm really good at what I do. I mean, you saw my work. There is only one problem. I need you to... I need this to not get back to uh, certain... certain individuals. Okay, which ones? Gods, but... pardon my frankness, but you are not good at this. No, no, I really just need you to just, you know, like, maybe if you want to, like, write me a memo, just be like, hey, who needs... I need to make sure that Lynn Von Tepler's not here at this. Uh, okay, well then my fluffy-haired friend is probably out, but other than that, yeah, sure, I don't talk to her. Lovely. Here's how this is going to happen, I think. Okay. This is amenable to you. We're going to go back in, smiling, laughing politely, everything they expect to see. You are going to sit farther down, but not too far to make a scene, at the 13th chair from me... Uh, right or left? From me, I am on the right. I am on the. I am on the right at the end of the table. Okay, cool. We are going to bring out the first course, as well as some wine. Julius is going to make a toast to the continued prosperity of Intilla, and nominally to uh, the leadership of Intilla. At that point, I need you and whichever of them you can convinced to come with you to slip uh, out of the room. When that happens, I will meet you uh, as soon as the toast is done and we will... I can fill you in on more of the details. We have a bit of a... We have a bit of a problem in the residency. Is my sister in danger? Not at the moment. Okay, that's good, but But she could be... if If we don't solve the problem then she could be, and even if she is untouched by it, Hintilla is not kind to young nobility who have lost their sponsors, a lesson my brother and I know very well. Yeah, no, I've definitely picked up on the fact that this is a shitty place for kids, and Reagan claps a hand on uh, Lady Claudia's shoulder, and she's beaming, and she says, Ma'am, you've got yourself a hired blade. (laughs) Hey, Brika, are you... Are you here? <laughs> yes, Brika, you were here for that whole thing. Yes. You hear that? Yes. We good? Got it. Okay. I think, I mean, we'll talk to Monty. We'll see if we'll see what he feels. Anyway. Um, Brika, did you reveal yourself? Or uh, uh, did you reveal yourself? Or you just like... <laughs> Disembodied. <laughs> you know, from, from some dark corner of the room. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway. How do you kind of like looks around like a little... A little disconcerted? I mean, but, like, what, it, what was that? Uh, I rolled a 16? She, yeah. she can't be that well concealed. She probably, you know... In a plant. <laughs> step, steps out into view, <laughs> like, hey! Um, uh... uh, uh spikus is uh, mine. Uh, uh, upon you stepping out, um... Uh, there's actually a moment where uh, Claudia kind of just, like, looks... Uh, at first, like, a little, like, on edge, and then she sees you, and she just kind of, like... Ah, um... Uh, a pleasure to meet you. Um, uh, yeah, it sounds like you might have underestimated on. me just a little bit late. Clouds? Can I call you Cloud? Yeah, I'm gonna call you Cloud. Anyway, yeah, you got both of us and probably our friend. I mean, it, Lynn doesn't need to know about this. Is it because, like, we're gonna kill someone she likes? Or is it because, like, it would be bad politically some in some way I don't really care to understand? Like, uh, the, 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 the latter more so. Okay, so, I mean, that's that's probably fine. I think Martin... Uh, he's a shitty liar. Maybe we just, uh... 
That's not true. I'm that's not fair. there, but that's not true. That's fair. Anyway, <laughs> I'm we'll a talk, very good liar. <laughs> we'll talk to him. Where do you want? Where did you want us to meet you? He said we'll slip out and meet with you. Where will that be? Kitchen, uh, basement. There's a there is a side door to the servants. The servants. Uh, Fabulous. I will see you there, my friend. Why? What say uh, you and I go schmooze like we were born to do? She she nods and uh, this, this this whole time, by the way, she's been like occasionally glancing over at Brika and then like <laughs> whenever Brika like make like sort of makes it she looks away very quickly. You want her autograph? She just uh she 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 just offers the hand and offers the arm and she just goes, Let's go what was it you said, schmooze? Yeah, schmooze. What, you 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 grew up noble and you don't know how you don't know the word schmooze? Brika, these people <laughs> Am I right? Uh, yeah, tell me about I this. Prefer the ter- I prefer the term mingling. Yeah, you would, wouldn't you? Mingling. <laughs> I would. Breaky gets it. Anyway, all right, let's do it. Um, yeah, so uh, while all that's happening, uh, Monty, uh, what, what are you doing with Rufus right now, Monty? What's your, what's your play here? Well, the first thing I want to do is, is there anybody else in the room that I recognize? Is there anybody uh, vaguely familiar to me? And I have dropped, um, I had had put up um detect magic last session but i have dropped that okay um so there are the people that you met earlier you see sort of the the new shape of um alroy the kobold you met um Uh sort of like the the kind of a bit of an older kobold um yeah you see uh adwald manata the far relative of uh lady anastasia who's kind of just like he's sort of uh he hasn't quite taken his seat he's kind of uh lingering more towards the side of the room um and uh you see uh gleta is just kind of like you know she keeps like pulling out the cigar and like going to light it and then stopping and then she's like has first she's content herself to just chewing the cigar she's like looking around a little nervously and uh you got what's his name uh you got a or sorry her name uh you uh lady Cobb has already taken her seat and she is just kind of yeah, she's up she's near the head of the table, right? Because she's yeah, a friend she's, of Claudia. Yeah, well, she's actually sitting uh, next to Ellie right now, and she is uh, chatting pleasantly with her. And every now and then she'll look over at you, kind of just glance back. I did want to introduce myself to Ellie, but uh, my, my, my biggest thing is, are there any dragonborns? Uh, oh, I gotta get them digits for your friend Reagan! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a dragonborn. What gender is that dragonborn? Do I recognize that dragonborn? So, you do not recognize her. She is wearing this kind of, like... Uh, she has uh, red scales, and she is wearing this, like... Uh, this uh, sort of uh, blue dress, um, which is uh, relatively form-fitting, uh, but sort of, like, shows off kind of her more powerful frame. And she is... Uh, she has taken her seat uh, at the table, sort of, like midway point there's like 20 seats on each side so it's like a pretty large table uh and she's kind of just like glancing around okay um would monty know whether or not it's a complete faux pas to introduce himself to um ellie before the uh dinner starts i mean he just saw reagan get carted off for trying so i know i know but monty's monty has knows the proper way to do things. Monty has tact, Reagan. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, like he is, even though he is ostensibly tied to Lynn Von Tepler, he, you know, looks the part of an eligible young male, so. I mean, so, so, so A, um, I mean, I think, I think that Monty would probably, would probably have a better time of it, especially since he'd be approaching as, he would be approaching as, like, another as like a young member of nobility approaching another young member, member of nobility yeah. instead of walking in a direct line as soon as they get in and going ellie That's hey true. it's me it's re-. like but yeah. now that being said um you know it could be considered somewhat scandalous for you mm. know someone who is tied to one yeah. young lady to be another lady. but then again you know, you all, you do have uh, someone in your possession right now who is uh, so- somehow a bit of a mover and shaker. <laughs> yeah, it really looks like it. Um, hey, Rufus. 
Rufus. Yes. Yes. Should I'm... we follow them? Are they going to, like, no. they're not going to no. kill her, right? No. So that's not like a thing. And is he keeping his voice down, or is he being, like, the loud kind of drunk? Rufus is a drunk. No, he's not? Okay. He's just been drinking. Okay. 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 Good. Good to know. That's all I really wanted to know. I was getting him a little bit confused for our um, our halfling friend from the first session. Vivian? Um, yeah. Um, so, no, she's... I assume they're fine. If we start hearing screaming, then they're not fine. It won't be Reagan screaming, I'll tell you that much. I know that. No, but they're most likely fine, so don't worry too much about them. Um, What I wanted to do, if we could, I want to go talk to the girl. I think there's something going on there, and I might as well, you know, introduce myself and look like I actually know how politics works. Oh, will you come with? Will oh, you come uh, with me? Yeah. Do I have? Do I have to? Do I have to talk to? You know, um, Saia. No, no, no. She, I mean, Saia knows you, and have you? Have you? You've said hello to her. She, he said hello to her like, during the last. We, session, right? we, we, we have a. We have a bit of history. What kind of history do you have? <laughs> I, 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 I let look. Look, okay. Listen, listen. It, is it was. Is it, wait, Rufus, Rufus, is it the dating kind of history or the murdering kind of history? So, it was a very long night. There was a necromancer, there was a vampire, there was. I. This is sounding like the murdering kind of history. Six to one, half the other. <laughs> okay, okay, you know, we somehow saved most people and. You know, looking back, maybe I should just let him. You know, don't don't go there. But okay, so this is, this has to do. I'm with just the, saying, you know, like what I understand. What, what, I could have left. I could have left. Know, you know. I know. Really, trust me. As somebody who desperately wants to leave but can't, I know. <laughs> you don't have to talk to Saia. I will handle most of the talking. Just don't be completely silent and. You know, if things start to go pear shaped, pull me away. <laughs> can you? Can I? Can you? Can I hold you to that? I, I can, I can try. Try, no, trying is all I want. I can, uh, I can certainly try. Thank you so much for coming to this week's episode of Masks and Martyrs. This is your producer, Diana, and as usual, I've got some housekeeping and plugs to take care of. So first of all, if you're enjoying the show, the biggest favor you could do us this week would be to leave us a review on iTunes or wherever you're listening to the podcast. Also, go ahead and make sure you're still subscribed so that you never miss an episode. Uh, Also, we did update the link to our Discord server if you guys still want to hang out with us. The link is in the description. Uh, It is a different link than it was last week. Ooh, for you eagle-eyed listeners. Um, We will also be posting in there where our new merch store is once we've finished migrating all of it over. And we also just like hanging out with you guys. So come on and hang out. If you like this, you'll probably be interested in the other podcasts on the Nerdification Media Network. You can find them all on our website. And also, I will be doing a guest appearance on Dwarf Stars and Dreadnoughts in an upcoming arc. So definitely keep an ear out for that. I will be announcing more about it as that story develops. This week, we'd like to give a shout out to Squeeze Studios and especially Lucky Squid for all of the amazing artwork that she's been posting on Twitter. Uh, We are so glad that you and Coco like the show, and we wanted to let our listeners know how they can support you. You can check out their store at etsy.com slash shop slash squee, S-Q-U-E-E, studio. And there will also be a link in the description in case you didn't feel like just writing it down just now. And if you haven't seen the amazing art Lucky Squid's been making for us, she's been posting it on Twitter, and we have retweeted it all to the official Masks and Martyrs Twitter page. It's incredible. Please go look at it. Last but not least are the music credits. Our intro music is Threads of Fate by Diana Pepperosi and Thomas Hart. The mid-roll is Kevin McLeod's Dreamlike. And our ending theme is Mary Meet Meg by Hopper and the Books on Tape. With that, I'm going to let you guys get back into the episode. I know this is a little bit of a slow arc, but trust me, it's worth it. Just stick around. And uh, yeah, that's about it for today. Thanks so much for stopping by.
So, Monty and Rufus are gonna, like, mose their way over there. Monty is not going to directly interrupt the conversation. He's going to watch and see if either Saia Calm notices him or there's a natural lapse in their conversation for, and he's kind of just gonna stand to the side, kind of chat with Rufus until that, that opportunity presents itself. Sure. Um, I mean, there's one thing you learn about Saia Calm is that she notices things. And as you approach- Oh yeah. She just kind of looks over. And oh, as you know, that boy I died. killed is still walking. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> um, no, she she gives you a sort of a pleasant but measured smile, and she Monty says, gives, "Monty gives a little, uh, slightly lower than average kind of half bow, and out of respect." Yeah, she says, she says, "Ah, two young bachelors. Tell me, if you come to introduce yourselves to us again." Well, madam, we've already had the pleasure of meeting, but um, considering, as far as I understand it, this party is for the young ward here, I thought I'd like to introduce myself and my friend Rufus here and uh, just say hello. It's only polite. She she looks over at Rufus for, for the first time, who just kind of like wilts a bit. Under the, uh, <laughs> under the gaze. And she, she gives him another one of her, like, of her kind of, you know, snarky smiles. <laughs> and she says, Sir Champion, it has been, oh, how long since we last met? And um, she says, you know, uh, it's hard to say, really, a lot of, you know, a lot of things. A lot of things happen all the time, everywhere, really. Mm. You know, I mean, what is time, really? <laughs> I, I, I was only vaguely aware that you two knew each other. How, how do you know each other, lady? Uh, madam. <laughs> Calls her madam. Well, like most in the city, uh, I am in the champion's debt. He saved our lives from the treachery of all the late Lord Limter. And, well... He also <laughs> provided an old woman with some entertainment. Fucks like a champion, you could say. <laughs> Fucks like a goddamn champion. That's why they call him the champion. <laughs> <laughs> Reagan says from in the middle of her conversation with Claudia says, What? Nothing, nothing. Go on about my Don't worry about it, don't worry about it. I got I got a I got an earpiece going. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, 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 Rufus, Monty, Rufus. Monty, Monty does smile at that. Just like, all right, okay. Rufus kind of like looks away and he's just like, you know, anybody, anybody, anybody would have done, uh, you know, it's just the right place and the right time is all that happened. And, uh, yeah, I mean, my Rufus, if there's one thing that I've learned about Rufus, I have only learned one thing about Rufus, but if there's one thing I've learned about Rufus, is that he is a good man. Rufus, like, you can search that out of corner of your eye, like, Rufus looks a little, like, a little surprised by that, but also, like, kind of happy. Yeah. No, he's a good guy. Like, I mean, he is, ex he, like, Monty's not saying any of this, but he's, like, Monty's opinion is he's exasperated and uncomfortable and, uh, frankly, horrified by the social obligation of his, of his newfound lifestyle, and owns up to it and does his best anyway. And like Monty's like, this guy's good. <laughs> He's a good guy. We like him here <laughs> in this house. So that's that's Monty's opinion of Rufus. Anyway, so Saia, calm. Um anyway. So Um she she kinda uh, she kinda you know notes that like this whole little this whole little bit of banter between the two of you and she uh she says, Well, don't let an old woman stand between the next generation of allow me to introduce uh, Lady Cynthia Goring. Cynthia, this is Mr. Montague Pensmith. And Monty does his absolute best and most handsome sweeping bow. <laughs> I think I think this is the point when Reagan re-enters and, and she just rolls sees up the her bow. sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> You're making moves on my baby sister. 
Anyway, Reagan, 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 uh, tell me Reagan has seen Monty operate enough to know that yeah, he's no, completely for sure. I, I just you know, that's okay, good. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he, he does um, not kiss her hand though because she's not old enough. Mm. That's why I was asking for ages last time. She, he only he only does it to women that he knows are either married or out of the the, the dating pool more or less because he doesn't want to. Oh, sorry, her. I made a mistake. Ellie is seventeen. Oh, so she's younger than. Yeah, she's a baby. I mean, like, we're talking, it's a battle of inches here. Monty's 18. Yeah, so. she's, a, she's a young teen. Anyway. So, uh, Cynthia kind of, well, Cynthia Ellie, slash Ellie, uh, she gives you the most demure, ladylike smile that you have ever seen. The kind of smile that, like... That couldn't be genetically related to Reagan. <laughs> puts, puts Lynn to shame. Well, it's, 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 it's the kind of smile that, like, this is what it's. This is what you're supposed to look like when a lady smiles, and and, and uh, uh, she uh, she sort of gives you uh, as much of a as much of like the head nod bow while still remaining seated as uh, as is appropriate, and she says, "Mr. Pensmith, lovely to make your acquaintance today." The pleasure is all mine, lady. Uh, I'm Rufus. I... <laughs> yeah, Rufus. This is Rufus. Uh, what is Rufus? Does Rufus have a last name, or is he just Rufus? The Just. just. Uh, Middle name the. D- let's let's just let's just go with the Just. So this is um, allow me to introduce my my good friend Rufus the Just, champion of Hintilla. I'm sure you've heard of him. Apparently, everybody has. <laughs> I wasn't aware of this before I came here. Yeah, that's that's me. Um. <laughs> Just smile and nod, man. <laughs> Monty's like trying to be cas- like as appropriately casual in front of the ability as he can be, but like well, he doesn't honestly want her to think trying. that she's interested because he's a married man. <laughs> <laughs> well, just like you know, calm down, man. It's okay. We got this. It's fine. And like, not as a moment of weakness, but as a moment of humanity. <laughs> uh, uh, so. Uh, uh... Uh, uh, at, at kind of Rufus's little uh, faux pas, uh, Cynthia gives just you know, again this kind of very charitable smile, and Saya Kam just kind of barks out a little laugh uh, at that, and she says, "Sometimes I wonder why we keep you around, and then you have moments like that." Oh no, lady, uh, madam, don't be cruel. <laughs> uh, like she gives you kind of like a look, and she's like, "I am not being cruel." The cruel- well, that's not entirely true. The cruelty (laughs) is keeping him around. If I were to be, um, charitable and kind, well, we would send the champion on his merry way off to do battle with more creatures and seek greater fortunes than can be found here in our little city. I don't know. Is that something that Rufus- Rufus, would you care for that sort of thing? Uh... You, as you like, look towards him, you can see, he, uh, he says, no, but you can see on his face, yes, that is very much what he would like to not be in Hindella. Okay, okay. Well, we are where we are for the moment being, so. Um, it was wonderful, it's good to talk to you again, Lady Zayakam, and it was a pleasure to meet you. Miss Cynthia, how, I mean, uh, how, uh, Miss, how shall I address you to addressing Cynthia? Uh, she, she, like, goes to say something, and, uh, Saia just says, Lady Cynthia will be more than appropriate. Well then, um, like I said, it was a pleasure to meet you, and seeing as we're, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing, like, Monty kind of does the thing where you compare heights, even though she's sitting, like, I think we're kind of the same age, approximately, so, I look forward to socializing with you again. The scoundrel! No, he's being... He's the not, scoundrel! Not... Imagine the scandal when Lynn hears of this. <laughs> it's gonna be a problem. No, Uh-oh. don't make it a problem. Monty's just being good. He's a he's good boy. Good, he's, he's a good boy. He's a very good boy, and Saeed <laughs> Khan is, nothing... is his personal devil. <laughs> There is nothing unto there is not an untoward bone in Monty's body. As as you're like beginning to walk away, uh roll me an insight check real quick, actually. Give me one of those sweet, sweet insights. Oh, that's a 
that's not bad. Uh, that's a 16. As you, as you kind of turn, as your gaze, like, sort of passes from Saia uh, over Cynthia for just a moment, you sort of, like, see that she is... It's almost like she's... Like, she wants to ask you something. And it's just a moment, like, just as your, just as your, like, eyes are, like, passing over her. And then I think, like, as you're... You notice that you kind of glance back for a second, and then she's just back to that demure smile, that very ladylike smile. And uh, and, and yeah, so uh, the two of you uh, walk back, and you see uh, Reagan and Brika enter as uh, Claudia, uh, sort of like pats Reagan on the uh, on the hand. Oh, can I can ass. I add in something that Reagan is doing right now, real quick? Yes. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all. So, uh, Claudia extracts herself from Reagan. <laughs> as Thank fast God. as possible. <laughs> uh, y'all, like, reconvene, or you sort of reconnoiter back at the, uh, back at, like, your seats. Cool, yeah, Reagan it's counts, does have to use both hands, and then some of Brika's, but, you know, gets to the 13th seat from the lady. Okay. And Monty will take the side of the table closer to the head of the table, sitting... The side of Reagan? Next. Yeah. Said Reagan. And, like, maneuver Rufus to Monty's other side. So, it, like, from the head of the table, it would go uh, Rufus, Monty, Reagan, and then Brika can sit on whichever side she wants. Uh, where are you sitting, Brika? Oh, um, Brika will just sit next in line, I guess, so after... After Reagan? I guess so, yeah. So, uh, uh as y'all sit down, um, people begin, like, like, kinda kind of filtering over uh, toward... Folks kind of, folks kind of start, like, like uh, filtering over towards the uh, towards their respective chairs and seats. You know, in, like, twos and threes or ones. So, uh, as, as y'all are sitting there, uh, Reagan... Reagan, you can see Rufus, like, leans, o- leans over, like, Monty's head towards you. Because y'all are both, like, pretty, pretty large people, and Monty's kind of small. He just kind of leans over Monty's head... He's like, so, uh, your sister seems nice. Thanks. She didn't talk to me, so I don't really know, but I assume she's great. She's great. We were super close and like, like we had nicknames for each other and stuff and we were the youngest. So like we bought, we, we were really close and it's kind of a bumming me out that she. Is anybody, can't... is anybody listening in on us? Like, I mean, I assume Monty cause he's between them. But... Uh, obviously. Yeah, Monty like, can People hear. outside of the party. Roll me a perception check, Monty. That's a three. <laughs> Man, you know. Man, could be. Not the walls probably fucking have ears, but Monty wouldn't know. Yeah, it's it's hard to say. These these people are experts. Good listeners. These these people are experts at like keeping an ear out and sort of filtering in bits and pieces here and there. Yeah. Anyway, Ixnay on the Istersa stuff because apparently she's got like a whole new identity or something. And anyway, we're gonna end like after the toast. We're gonna go to the servants' quarters, and we're gonna go do a job, and then I'm gonna talk to my sister, I guess. So. Oh. Oh, so like. Yeah, you too, Monty. But we can't tell Lynn for some reason. Cool. Wait, well, what? So, I don't so know. She didn't say to... why. I assume we'll learn more later. So we're going to the servants' quarters after the toast. Yeah, we, yeah, like real quiet, like I, they might the notice brain. if you're gone. So if you want to just hang out. Guys, we should leave. We should. We should stagger our departures so we don't all just get up and leave at the well, same Well, Brika and I can go at the same time because we can just say we were going to the bathroom. Uh, and girls go to the bathroom Those girls together. do that. Yeah, yeah. that's what Got we it. have wrap out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, girls do that together. That's like a thing they do, right? And Rufus, you can just be like, oh, I'm nauseous because I've been drinking so much, which we both know you're not. Um, yeah, so after the toast, I, we're going to the service I'll, quarters. And Monty? I'll leave last. Cool. And Monty? Monty, look me in the eyes. I need you to be cool. I don't think we're. Ki- I don't know if we're killing it. I don't think we're killing anyone. But my sister might be in danger, and in order to get her out of danger, I need you to not tell Lynn about what we do here tonight. Can you do so, that for me, Montague? I mean, honestly, I haven't been able to get a hold of Lynn in weeks anyway. So she's probably she'll come around. Right anyway, cool. <laughs> All right, fabulous. Peachy, Brika, you're my rock. Anyway, then she starts making horrible noble small talk with whoever's sitting across from her. Oh God. Or she just every now and then will like be pretending to talk to Breaker or Monty and just go. Ah, 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 ah. 
You know, you could actually really talk to us, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's true, yeah. So, yep. All about that the weather, huh? <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, so you said so, Cynthia. I, you know, actually, actually, since we do have to have dialogue here, one thing I am very surprised about is going to say in character, one thing I am very surprised about is, like, a lot more people saw the masked mayhem than I was expecting. <laughs> right? Yeah, Lady Claudia <laughs> is a big fan of Eubrika. Mm. We should give her an autograph later. Eh, we'll see how it goes. Cool. Keep that in the back pocket. It's like, what if I sweeten the pot? What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Maybe One. an autographed card from <laughs> Phil Chianti. <laughs> and she's and she's just like. <sighs> so, uh, um, yeah. Uh, so y'all can uh, chat, or, or we can say that y'all like chat until uh, until the first course comes out. Yeah, sure. So uh, after you know, everybody's kind of like filters in, and um, what's everybody's passive perception? Rika's is sixteen, and Reagan's is twelve. Monty is fourteen. Cool. Um, Brika, uh, you notice um, you notice two things. Number one, every now and then you'll kind of look over, and you'll you'll notice there is a uh, a relatively there's a relatively plain looking uh, man. He's sitting across from y'all, and every now and then he'll kind of like. like You'll catch him like, looking over at you, and every time he'll like raise his glass a bit, and then he'll go back to talking to whoever he's beside. That's that's odd on its own, but uh, more than that, um, you notice uh, further down, you can see that like Claudia is speaking to Julius, uh, the Lord Goring, and he is just staring at y'all, that's making fair. no making no effort to hide it, making no. Uh, you know, no tricks, no anything. Just kind of, just, just, just staring at y'all. Every now and then, um, oh no, Regan doesn't notice. Never mind. <laughs> uh, Brika, Brika will, will look back at him. <laughs> Assert your dominance, Brika. It's like she's gonna win this staring contest. You know, what is he staring at? Uh, he's just. He's a big like... wrestle fan too. <laughs> It seemed like he was kind of like, you know, sort of like, like looking at the whole view, but like once you start looking back, he's just like, oh, okay. It's gonna be like that, huh? <laughs> uh, Who is he looking at? Well, I don't know. Never mind. <laughs> and current, and uh, he's, and like, Brika, once they're staring at him, he just like locks eyes. Stare ring contest. <laughs> mm-hmm. Who blinks first? Roll to blink first! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want, we can roll to see who blinks first. I mean, sure. Yes! Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, give me a, consti- a constitution check. So give me a uh, uh, roll. Okay. Can she have a bonus because of her reptile eyes? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's racist. No, it's not. That's... They have a second lid. They have a second <laughs> lid. If you close a lid, it counts as blinking. That's just the rules of, like, staring contests. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna roll for this. Yeah, I do. Calm God, fire. yes. Ooh, okay. That's no good. Actually, the that's master's good. nineteen plus constitution twenty. The two of you just keep staring at each other, <laughs> and it just doesn't end. <laughs> okay. Like <laughs> neither of you blink, and it just keeps going. Just keep staring. Just keep staring, and then Brika kind of does a little head tilt, like. As if to say, Psh, you're nothing. Pushusha. And looks away. <laughs> Pushusha. Oh. And does not blink after looking away, I bet. I mean. She's never going to blink again until what? this after fucker she, does. After she looks away from him, she won't be blinking. <laughs> she will be blinking eventually, but but yes. She she That's looks brutal. away. With, you know. Brutal power play from Brika Cha. <laughs> um, Brika Cha knows how to play the game. <laughs> Brinka Chad doesn't know how to play anything. <laughs> she just doesn't like the look of that guy. That's fair. It's mostly oh. the the look with the eyes, the look. He stares. Brinka, you good? You just zoned out for like 20 minutes and you didn't blink once. It was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> it's a special skill. Uh, cobalt thing, I bet. Mmm, sure. Alright. I do, I do like how every time Brika does anything impressive, everyone's like, well, you know, she's a cobalt, but it's like, maybe Brika's just impressive. Yeah, it's fucking racist. Yeah, no, Monty, Monty just thinks she's impressive. (laughs) But, uh, uh, so at at this point, um, they, like, you hear, like, uh, 
like just you don't even hear anything. It's just suddenly like like in front of you, just like there's just like outstretched arms as servants are like laying down the first course to the meal. And uh the first course looks to be a um, very elegantly put together uh seafood stew. Is there any way to tell if it's poisoned? Check it for traps. <laughs> no, I'm Roll. I'm being serious. I'm being one hundred percent serious right so now. So was I. Roll me actually Roll me survival. This is probably survival. I will, because, like, at least physically there are no signs of anything outside of just, like, yeah, it's a thing. But I, uh, it, like, physically there's no signs of it being anything other than food, based on sort of like the composition of seafood stew. But uh, roll me a survival check. Let me see how, like, what you're able to kind of, like, pick up from this based on little, the subtle little things. That's a ten. That's a ten. You're fine, Monty. You're not gonna die. Reagan's already <laughs> eating. Monty, Monty, you you like look at this for a good long minute, but then that aroma gets you, Monty. Oh God! That okay. fresh seafood, and Monty, you haven't eaten all day. And you start to think like maybe death would be worth it to, get a, <laughs> get, to just get at some of these sweet sweet clams and that shrimp. Delectable. Ugh. I like seafood, but that's just creepy. <laughs> Well, it was Monty, so... Okay. Yeah, Ma- yeah. Monty didn't hear anyone, like, making weird, like, yum noises <laughs> in his ear. Unless that's what he hears when he thinks, like, of good food. I don't know. I don't know Monty's Yeah, that's life. his internal monologue all the time. <laughs> no, it really isn't, though. Okay, anyway, sorry. <laughs> Reagan's eating it. Do um, I need to make a constitution save? <laughs> uh... Are you allergic to shellfish? <laughs> Maybe. Not and No one has to make... <laughs> God, I hope not. <laughs> No one has to make any saves at this point. Thank okay. God. Yay. So, um, as y'all been eating, uh, again, so, like, halfway through the, like, the servants, again, drift up from behind you and fill everyone's glasses with wine. As they pull it back, uh, you, like, it's, you, you sort of get a bit of a waft of it, and it is a very tasteful, uh, tasteful oh. vintage. Very good. Well paired. Oh, yeah. At that point, uh, there's sort of like a tinkling of a of a uh, like a dinner fork on a glass, and uh, you see Claudia uh, sort of like drawing everybody's attention. As soon as everyone looks up, uh, Lord Goring stands, and uh, he begins to speak about friends and uh, allies, and you know the maintaining the city's future in the face of adversity and threats both from without and within, and all that goodness. Um, but uh, this is this is sort of the time that uh, that Claudia was like, "Yo, now is the time." Yeah, Reagan um, leans over to Brika and kind of like stage whispers, "Hey, I need to poop. Can you come with me?" <laughs> yeah, I... cool. Yeah. And then she gets up and leaves very subtly. Like, she slinks. Roll well, me a stealth check. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Both of you. That's a 19, so eat it. Dang. And Brika got an 18 plus her 11, <laughs> so that's 29. Reagan's is, um, oh no, it's a 20, technically. So there. Nice. Uh, so yeah, y'all, y'all managed to kind of, like, creep out. Uh, uh, at this point, uh, Rufus, like, is listening, and then he turns back. And then he, t- he sort of turns back to y'all, looks back at, at uh, Lord Gory, and then just like a, a, a double take, and he's like, where do they go? It's fine. You're going next. Oh, okay. How do I, what do I do? Just wait until the toast is done, and then stealth your way out, and then I'll go a little bit after you. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. I could do that. Sure, sure. Uh, at this point, uh, you know, the toast finishes, and... Uh, Lord Goring like raises his glass in the toast, and everybody else mirrors it. Uh, and let's see what Rufus does here. What his idea is for getting out of here. Oh, Rufus! Oh, you! Oh dumb, no! Dumb, beautiful handle. He raises his glass and then he just pours it on his shirt. And he says, "Oops!" <laughs> <laughs> and then he stands and he walks out. The future of everything is in good hands. Mm. We're all going to die. Thank <laughs> you.